Good morning, guys. I hope you had a good evening. Here's a current view from the live webcam of the Old Faithful area. This here currently going off in the center is Beehive. It's really steaming there. Um, I don't know what the temperature is there at Yellowstone. I'll have to find out. All right, so I just checked and it's 38 degrees there at the park. A little chilly. Everyone else around the country is having a heat wave and yeah, you want to go to some place that's nice and cold and chilly where you got to bundle up. I guess you could go to Yellowstone. Yeah, at least uh, temporarily you have uh, a reprieve from the heat. I, I don't know. If, I, I wouldn't go there. Not with all this recent activity, but um, there's a lot of people that would. And they're zooming in a little bit closer. All right, recent earthquakes at Yellowstone. Uh, we got one here at 11, 11, um, and maybe about 10 seconds universal time. It's currently 8.04 a.m. Central Daylight Time. USGS has not reported any earthquakes there at Yellowstone since yesterday. They keep banker hours, I suppose. Uh, we got 48 earthquakes within the last 24 hours in this location. Let me bring it out a little bit. There you can see the Madison River area. And we got um, Hedgen Lake over on the left. So the last earthquake they reported was at 437 Central Daylight Time, a magnitude 1.4. This earthquake here, like I said, this is from the borehole there by the Norris Geyser Basin borehole 950 was at um oh, probably 6 11 a.m. today here's its signature that was a magnitude 2 point let me bring this down so you can see it 2.12 in my last video I had, had posted how people had said they can't see that down there at the bottom where it says MD but evidently, if you watch my videos on your television, maybe through your fire stick or whatever, um, I did get a reply from one fellow. Thank you very much. He said he could see that. So 2.12 at 1111 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time. There's a little tiny dinky one here marked in red. Um, yeah, we got harmonic and volcanic tremors. I'm not going to do that one. It's just too small. But then we got another one um, at 611 universal time. This next one, this smaller one, that is a magnitude 1.8. And we'll look at the spectrogram right there. And then we got another one at 514 and about 25 seconds universal time. That would be uh, 1237 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And that comes in as a magnitude 2.07. So 1214 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And that's a spectrogram. And there's its signature. Between 1 and 10 hertz. So that's definitely a volcanic and harmonic tremor. All right. The next one marked in red. Uh, okay, same thing with 1 to 10 hertz. There's its signature at uh, 2137. I'll move this up in a second. That one there is a magnitude 1.83. All right, there's the signature and there's the spectrogram. Now USGS, that is the last one they reported. They said it was a magnitude 1.4. Just another example how it's been downgraded. Now I wanted to take a look at the depth. They're still all about uh, 7 to 8 kilometers in depth. Well that one's 6. That one's 6.6. 6. 6.4. 6. That one's shallower. Um, yeah magnitude 0, 0.0. It's not even a minus. Well there's a minus there. The minus means it's 100 points below 
a magnitude 1. And yeah, so that's what that means. Now this one, a minus 0.5 would be 500 points below a magnitude um, 1.0. Just thought I'd pass that little bit of information along with you. I have to laugh. I suppose it is uh, USGS trying to reassure people that they are doing their job. Even though there is multiple earthquakes, they don't report. All right, the next one marked in red. They have this as a magnitude 1.5. How much you want to bet that it isn't? Let's find out. Nope, it's a magnitude 1.8. Let me bring this down so you can see it. Uh, 1.82. So they fibbed about, about the same as the last one. And again, there's its spectrogram. We got some other little ones, but I'm going to do the red ones marked in red. Okay, um, 1822 Universal. USGS claims that was a uh, magnitude 1.4, the signature. All right, let's see how big it was. All right, they told the truth about that one. That one came in as a magnitude 1.42. And the next one. Let's look at the spectrogram. That one shook for quite a while. Now they have it here, or I have it here, as a 2.02. .02, but USGS has it as a magnitude 2.2. .2, right there. So they had it higher than what I come up with. So let's take a look at some of these other small ones. We've got one there. Um, we've got one there. Let me bring this down. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Another small one there. I'll, let me show you something. On the left is the borehole for Norris Geyser Basin. Borehole 950. In the center is Little West Thumb. This one right here, uh, marked in red, shows up across. This one marked in red shows up across. That one they're not reporting yet. On the right is Lake Butte. All right, we got a large one here on Lake Butte, um, 2353. Let's see. That one they're not reporting, but it shows up here also at Little West Thumb and at the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, yet they decided not to report it. So here's it at Lake Butte. Let's look at the spectrogram. We got two quakes, it looks like there. And it looks like a magnitude 1.46. I didn't take in the uh, second little one. See that 1.46. It might be larger, but anyways, the second one comes in as a magnitude 1.33. All right, one of the newer ones at 1234 and about 50 seconds universal time. That would be today at um, 7.34 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Let's look at the uh, spectrogram. Just a little blip of heat there. That comes in as a magnitude 1.69. Let's make the signature larger. Yeah, harmonic tremors. Look at that. Um, let's take a look at the... Uh, yeah, one, one to ten hertz. Yeah, volcanic um, magma. Yeah, on the move. Now again, this is uh, Lake Butte, and then we got the blobs of magma. Let me go back. Blobs of magma coming in, and there's a small earthquake right here. Again, just some. Yeah, you know, see how the line of melt. It's not way up like it was yesterday. Let me go here and look at it. And yeah, we got two lines there. 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 Anyways, let's go back to this one. Yeah, and there's other ones marked in red. See that? Yep, the popping, the cracking, like glass. Of, yeah, the, uh, look at that. 
on the ground. It, this is why within the park, within the caldera itself, okay, um, it wouldn't take a large earthquake for an eruption because within the park, within the, the area of the caldera rim, the ground is so brittle. Whereas outside the park, say like Hedge and Lake, um, yeah, they can have a larger earthquake without an eruption. That is why this area is so much more brittle. All right, let's go back to this. Am I on the wrong line? What's going on? Okay, where do we take? <laughs> yeah, because there's so much stuff going on. All right, magnitude 1.57. But if I change it to a little bit closer, take out some of this it would be a magnitude 1.40 so you got to figure where it started and where it ended i'm sure it's larger than a 1.40 but with all the activity it's hard to pick out i mean look at this mess yeah see harmonic tremors oh i guess i could go right maybe right there and i'll show you how i do this and where did it end? Right there. Okay, then we come up. Oh, that's, hold on, I did it wrong. All right, so I changed it again to a little bit closer and to where it looks like it possibly ended at. And we come up with a 1.44. So 1.44, 1.42, that's probably what that earthquake is. So those that want to learn how to use this program, they can see what I'm doing. All right. We got another one at 1115, but that actually looks like two that blended to one. Let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah, I'm not going to try and do that one. All right, so let's go back to Little West Thumb. Oh, we got one marked in red. I'll make this one bigger right there. Um, 918, a quick little shaker. So that would be at 418 a.m. today. And we'll look at the spectrogram. Y'all look at that brought up more heat. 1 to 10 hertz. And that comes in as a 1.28. See how it's got the sharp tops? That's volcanic tremors when they're rounded off um, which I don't see in this section here um, that would be harmonic tremors let me show you an image here in a minute Oop. why did it change on me hold on There we go. Man, one off the line. All right, four types of different earthquake signatures. This comes from the USGS. Um, tectonic like earthquakes, shallow volcanic earthquakes surface events see how it trails up and leads up to a larger and then harm um, harmonic tremors i'll make that bigger for you okay tectonic volcanic surface events and then harmonic tremors all right 5 14 and about 30 seconds universal time 12 37 uh, Central Daylight Time AM. That was this morning. We'll look at the signature right there. Let's make that bigger for you. Shallow Volcanic Tremors. With a mixture down here at the end of Harmonic Tremors. All right, and they're just starting to report today's earthquakes. They're saying that um, is a magnitude 2.2. But from the borehole 
at Norris and I come up with a magnitude, hold on, uh, 2.21. So they were not fibbing about that one. Let me bring it back up. This earthquake at 1111, they are now saying that this one is a 1.7. And this one at 1230 universal time, a 0 0.9. But that one is definitely larger. This is what it's currently showing. Here at the bottom we have Lake Butte. There in the middle is the borehole for uh, Norris um, 950. And then at the top is little west thumb and you can see we got more little earthquakes coming in some small stuff amazing beehive they just moved the camera as i went to the live webcam but beehive is still steaming yeah look at that once in a while it goes clear and you can see the dead trees in the back over here and i've talked about that i wish the camera was much better because in the past, you could see the rock slides that were created during um, moderate earthquakes. Yeah. But anyways, that's all I have for you right now this morning. Um, the activity continues. If any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Um, please stay safe. And if you're prepared for a disaster, you will be safer than those who are not you know food water medical supplies things like that and i will talk to you later god bless you